the gathering of the World Economic Forum. The most prominent meeting of the world's elites finally took place in Davos at the end of May, after a two-year break thanks to COVID. The usual suspects from Bill Gates downwards were all there. Panel discussions on all sorts of topics, including freedom of the press, misinformation, transhumanism, globalization, the energy transition and the food crisis were part of the agenda. A place for world leaders to discuss plans for limiting freedom of speech and vocally predicting the loss of welfare of normal citizens. You will own nothing and you will be happy. While top politicians from across the world were enjoying their champagne and steaks, they were busy making plans to ensure that you, the ordinary citizens of the world, will be eating bug burgers and tofu meals for the rest of your lives. Orwell said it best, all animals are equal, but some are more equal than others. And in between encouraging the impoverishment and total surveillance of their populations in the name of the great religions of public health and fighting climate change, these same government leaders that are supposed to represent you and me were dreaming of an ever more globalized world without borders and nation states. Ministers from EU nations were fantasizing about an EU army. After all, what difference does the flag that you wear on your sleeve make in the end? And then the CEOs of the large social platforms talked about how they controlled and censored information and decided for you which information was authoritative and which was not. No need to break your head thinking about the problematic facts that your government or the mainstream media presented about COVID, climate or immigration peasant. YouTube, Facebook and Twitter have it under control. And what do you think of their transhumanist agenda? Or their attempts at normalizing a world in which we are all implanted with chips, sold under the guise of efficiency, progress and enhancing the human condition? but which raises technology above humanity while simultaneously promoting the ultimate surveying society. I don't know about you, but I still prefer to be able to think for myself. Davos is not a forum at all, and certainly not a world forum, but instead a sectarian, ideological and militant Western club. Klaus Schwab has boasted that his forum penetrates, yes, penetrates the governments of many countries. Politicians like Emmanuel Macron and Justin Trudeau, after all, have been World Economic Forum young leaders. The Dutch Prime Minister also proudly carries his World Economic Forum back to work every day. Schwab has basically implied that he controls them. And this is a major problem for politicians like those of Forum for Democracy in the Netherlands who try to fight this globalist agenda. Because the World Economic Forum blurs the lines between private and public organizations. Yes, it might be a private organization, but the World Economic Forum is nestled deeply within the civil services of nations across the world. Requests for access to documents recording exchanges between public servants and the World Economic Forum by parliamentarians from their own governments first need to be approved by the World Economic Forum. This destroys the democratic control that parliaments have and is an affront to political transparency. And as far as that still exists, of course. Did you vote for this club of billionaires and world leaders and activists? I certainly didn't. And are you looking forward to a utopia in which you owe nothing, in which you eat bugs, in which a chip in your body linked to a social credit system tells a global government all they need to know about you? I'm not. But this is exactly what awaits us if we continue to dismiss this organization as being nothing more than a networking platform. Our leaders went to Davos to discuss these very ideas to find the best ways to implement them back at home through invented and often permanent states of crises, whether it is a pandemic, a war or climate change. Schwab talks of a great reset for the world. Instead, what is needed is a great reality check for the World Economic Forum and the governments it says it penetrates. It is time that politicians take their responsibility in defending the interests of their voters and control their governments. It is time for ordinary citizens to stand up and reject this dictatorial top-down attempt to create a so-called utopia as devised by a few ideological autocrats. It is time for us to reject the World Economic Forum and the Great Reset and to encourage our governments to do the same. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel for regular updates or go to forumfordemocracy.com for more content.